Tonight on The Secret Life of the Brain, The Baby's Brain. How does the brain grow to become the most complex thing in the universe? And what if something goes wrong? She weighed three pounds and she was 14 inches long. They survive and make the best of it. Yet what's the cost? Tonight, the brain's delicate first months. The brain is wider than the sky, for put them side by side, the one the other will contain with ease, and you beside. The brain is deeper than the sea, for hold them blue to blue, the one the other will absorb, as sponges buckets do. The brain is just the weight of God, for heft them pound for pound, and they will differ, if they do, a syllable from sound. A baby's brain less than one pound of gelatinous tissue and within its milky convoluted folds a universe of meaning emotions ideas memories dreams all will somehow find a home here evolving and changing over a lifetime the ultimate machine and the ultimate source of everything we understand the world the way we do because of the brains we have. We will understand the brain itself the way we will because of the brains we have. The brain is the most complex thing on earth. Even the brain of a baby is wildly complicated. A piece of the brain the size of a grain of rice contains about 10,000 nerve cells just in that little piece and you can just imagine how many pieces you have in your head within that 10,000 nerve cells each nerve cell can make anywhere between 1 to 10,000 connections with other nerve cells so there are something like a trillion connections it's almost overwhelming to think about the whole thing if you think about how the whole brain and nervous system gets assembled you know, you just want to throw up your hands and say, it's way too complicated, we're never going to understand it. The brain is the seat of our consciousness, of who we are. And in understanding where it comes from, we understand where we come from. Elizabeth Traphagen was born less than two weeks ago, three months before she was expected, three months before she was ready to meet the world. She was 28 weeks and six days. She weighed three pounds and she was 14 inches long. It was somewhat frightening not knowing what a preemie would look like. It's something you don't expect. You're suddenly in this medical world rather than the world of taking your baby home and trying to figure out how to dress it and change its diaper. Elizabeth is a healthy, premature baby. Her lungs actively suck in the air. Her heart beats on its own. But the one organ central to all the others is not fully prepared. Her brain. 
The miracle technologies of modern medicine can help keep Elizabeth alive. But 12 critical weeks of brain development must now continue outside the protective walls of the womb. When the baby comes out of the womb, everything changes. Suddenly light, suddenly sharp sounds. The brain reacts to the stimulation. It can't filter, it can't stop, it can't shut it out. They survive and make the best of it. Yet what's the cost? The brain of a baby born three months premature is vulnerable. Many precious weeks of development still remain. Billions of brain cells are not done forging links with billions of other brain cells. Eventually, there will be trillions and trillions of connections between cells charged with electrical pulses rippling like lightning storms across the hills and valleys of the brain's deeply furrowed tissue. Every cell in its place, every link between cells carefully organized. Nothing random, nothing arbitrary. What we would really love to understand is how the brain during development generates millions and millions of neurons, sends them to the right position in the brain, and then somehow instructs each of those individual nerve cells to form very, very specific connections with one another.